I'm at the age where I essentially watch Bronny James grow up from a basketball perspective, from high school to college, which he's now, to now this next step of his journey, right? I'm about 10 years older than Bronny, and it's been quite a ride to see Bronny, now Bryce, and the whole family just evolve into the young men that they are today. But the main question that now arises, is Bronny James ready to take that next step and play alongside his dad, whether they're on the same team or an opposing team in the NBA? Let's discuss. What up, everybody? It's your boy, STG Hoops, with a brand new video, and we are back having a lot of fun with this channel, everybody. Y'all been showing a lot of support. We officially hit that 1K subscriber mark. If you're brand new to this channel, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really means a lot. One thing that we like to do on this channel is we don't like to script anything, so I don't got no AI talking for me, I don't got no Google Docs, I'm speaking from the heart and I hope that can resonate with y'all. So if it does, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so we can grow this channel to 5k, 10k, 50k, 100k and more. But with that being said, Bronny James is obviously a key discussion when it comes down just to basic NBA fandom, right? We all love the game, and obviously one of the biggest iconic superstars in the game, if not in all time, from an NBA perspective, is LeBron James. Naturally, with LeBron James getting older, where is a lot of the focus going to go once he's retired? I'm sure LeBron's still going to be associated with the league in various ways, but of course, naturally, you're going to go ahead and look at his son and or his sons and you know this video is dedicated to Bronny maybe we'll do a Bryce one in the future right it just makes a lot of sense who's going to carry your legacy and of course with Michael Jordan we did the same as well we kind of looked at his sons and how they did it and they just never really reached you know the peak uh, as to Michael Jordan and his greatness as a basketball player but obviously Bronny James is dedicated to the game and Bryce is also dedicated to the game and they've been dedicated to the game. And we've had a chance to watch Bronny James play in high school and I remember watching all the YouTube videos and you can obviously tell that this brother, one of the biggest things that stood out to me when I used to watch Bronny James in high school was, you know, he, he reminds me of Lillard a little bit. He has a really smooth shot and I remember a lot of the comments that we would see, especially when he was in high school, was like, wow, he already is a better three-point shooter than his dad, right? That was one of the biggest things. Now, to give Bron props, uh, this is one of his best three-point shooting seasons with the Lakers. So I got to give him props. There was a game we hit like, what, nine, ten threes? Insane, bro. He's 39 years old. Anyways, Bronny James, at least with the, the form that he has and the fluidness and how fast it is and how he's able to do it off the catch and shoot and off the dribble from a high school perspective, of course, it was really cool to see. Obviously, he was at McDonald's All-American Senior, and he pretty much took that experience with him to college. I don't want to spend too much time talking about his high school career because you know what, man? You know, I bet you every single G League player in the NBA right now or the G League they probably were averaging 40 points a game in high school if they wanted to, depending on where they played, etc. It's a joke, bro, right? I'm just being real. Not to say I'm any better. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a scrub, dog. But when you take these talents and you put them in high school, you know what I'm saying? They look like they're, they're the A1s. They're the Jordans of their own team. But college, I think, is where you really get a feel for how they are at a much more competitive level. Does that make sense? And Bronny James had the opportunity to experience college basketball with USC. And this was obviously a big, big, big deal. Obviously, he's closer to his dad playing in uh, you know, California. But nonetheless, Bronny James had some challenges when he first started his freshman year in college. He went through various heart complications, and that was really scary. And that delayed him actually from playing for quite a lot of games in the beginning of the season that was very scary we didn't know what was going to happen a lot of people uh were, were very 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 worried i'm sure we all were man because we we watch these kids grow up if you if you are an og nba fan you watch these kids with lebron james you watch these kids in the press conferences you watch the relationships that they had and you know obviously you respect it and you respect it and you know as just fans of the game you are wishing well like why would you not wish well for like anybody who wants to make the league right but obviously when it comes down to how he actually played it's tough man because you know when you look at the statistics of Bronny James they really aren't extremely impressive just being real with you if you were to take any single person who's not LeBron James son right somebody who's not the son of one of the greatest players of all time and you were to show me these statistics I wouldn't think 
I wouldn't be like, yo, this person is a top lottery pick. You know what I'm saying? Five points a game, and that's generous. He was 4.8. He had about 0.8 steals a game, two assists, about three rebounds a game, and he shot a collective field goal percentage of about 36%. From the three, unfortunately, it was only 26%. And then obviously from you know the two point, which was a lot higher, which this is a good positive, about 48, getting close to that 50, which is nice, which is nice. You know, he didn't play many games in terms of, you know, the total season. He only played 25 games. He started six of them. And, of course, he averaged about 19 minutes a game. Now, to be fair, he only averaged about four field goal attempts a game as well. So he didn't take a lot of shots. You know, sometimes, you know, as a hooper myself, you need a couple of shots to get rhythm going. And especially if you're not playing a lot or you're playing some minutes one game, very little minutes the other game. If you're a hooper, you understand you need consistency in shots and in times and in minutes and roll and expectations just to get the ball rolling, right? So obviously when you see all this and you see the delayed first season, many people thought that Bronny James would need another year in college. He would need another year in college. And obviously we saw the him wanting to go to the transfer portal, potentially going to a different team. Maybe that would set the expectation for him to have a brand new team, a brand new role. He's obviously going to be putting a lot of work on the offseason. But now, you know, I'm sure as we've all heard, reportedly, Bronny James now is going to focus on the NBA draft over the transfer portal. Now, of course, if he doesn't get drafted, I'm sure he will still rely on this portal. He's going to obviously weigh his options and kind of see where he's going to get a feel for in terms of the NBA draft. But that looks like that's going to be a big priority for him. Now, is he ready to do it? That's the thing. Is Bronny James ready to go to the NBA? And honestly, it's tough, man, because when you see him play, right, stats aside, 6'4", great, great size uh, if he's playing that point guard position. But he, he, he tends to like to play that shooting guard position at times as well, and that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. One thing for sure, or two things for sure that I got to give Bronny James respect for, that I think he's NBA ready right now. His body is NBA ready. He's been taking care of it. He's been hitting the weights. He's strong. You can see the strength that he has. You can see that explosiveness he has from that NBA readiness perspective. He's not a scrawny scrub. You know what I'm trying to say? Like he is somebody, and I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna hate on scr- the word scrawny because you look at people like Chet and like, even like Victor, and you know what I'm saying? These guys are scrawny, but yo, they're gonna give buckets in your sleep. He ain't a scrub. Right, but his physique definitely showcases somebody that may compensate for the lack of size. Does that make sense? He's six four. That's gonna. That's good. That's solid. But you got a lot of dudes six seven, six eight, especially if he's in the shooting guard position. But if he can go to that point guard position, six four is solid with a great frame in terms of his body. Number two is his defense. I think we can all attest that he definitely got this characteristic from his father. Right, LeBron James is a great defender, and he is one of the greatest defenders of all time when he wants to be. Right, and we've seen glimpses in the small sample size of games that Bronny has had. You know, getting chased down blocks and just sticking with the defender, or being the defender, sticking with the offensive player. He's doing it. He's done it. That is something he can do. Almost one steal a game is actually pretty impressive with the limited amount of time he's had. Okay, now the big thing is when you look at this we understand he has a solid structure of a body he can play defense defense but what's going to happen in terms of shooting look one of his strongest suits that we started talking about in this video is his three-point shot in the college yo he started shooting 27 percent that is not gonna cut it dude 27 percent from the three-point line bro if you are known to be a sharp shooter and you shooting 27 in college what does that mean you're gonna shoot in the nba so that just is a big wake up call because it's not going to fly, bro. You you see people now, I what is his name? Grayson Allen, 70 million contract extension, bro. Got to give him respect, man. He I, look, I I don't rock with him cuz I'm from Chicago and you know, we've had some battles with Grayson Allen when he was in Milwaukee, but as a fan of the game in terms of a hooper to hooper and a three-point shooter to three-point shooter, brother shot 49%. Worked out with lethal shooter, shot 49% and got a 70 million dollar bag with the Phoenix. So what does that tell you? That tells you three-point shooting is the key. I saw another statistic. There's been more three-point attempts or maids, one of those two, in this season alone than all of the 1980s. The whole decade combined. This one past season outweighs an entire decade of three-point shooting, bro. Three-point shooting is where it's going to be. I would like to say something different, 
but that's just how it is. Everybody's shooting threes. Very few people are holding on to the mid-range game. DeMar DeRozan, you see a little bit of Devin Booker doing it, but even you but you see everybody doing more threes. Even DeMar shooting more threes, Anthony Edwards is shooting more threes, Devin Booker shooting more threes. Big men are shooting threes now. That's just what it is now, man. So Bronny James I want to see him improve that three-point percentage. Where is he going to get drafted? The Lakers are number 13, okay? Unless, you know, the Pelicans decide to take it, which I don't think they will. I don't know if that is, like, that might be too too high, man. Like, I, I, he may have to go to the second round, to the end of the first. It just, you know, it all depends on his dad, dude. Like, Le LeBron James wants to play with Bronny. You better believe he's going to find a way to play with Bronny. And number two, if the Lakers win a championship this season, you better believe LeBron's going to change. So whatever he wants to happen is going to happen. Whoever he wants with the team, whoever he wants, it's just his say, bro, because his brother is LeBron James. He's earned that right, especially if he wants to draft his son. But, you know, at the same time, the Lakers got to look out for their future. 13th pick, you can get somebody solid. So, you know what? Maybe they trade for a early first round pick and the an early second round pick or a late first round pick finding a way to get Bronny I don't know but on paper I respect Bronny James I love my man but these stats just don't seem to convince me I want to see him succeed I want to see him go all the way but something tells me he just needs one more season in the NBA that's my that's my honest thoughts but regardless and I'm going to say this regardless and that's this goes back to the the title of this video whether Bronny James goes to college and a new team or he goes to the NBA, we are going to see a much better version of Bronny James. That, I believe, right? Because Bronny James may go from, you know, a solid NBA player this upcoming season of drafted to a, an amazing contender the following season if he plays uh, one more season in college. But regardless, he is, in my opinion, no matter where he goes, if he's given an opportunity, he's going to perform. That's my gut feeling. That's my gut feeling, right? But if I had to, you know, take a take a pick on it, I think he should play one more year. But if he doesn't, you know what? Props to him, bro. Go to the NBA. Why wouldn't you? Go get that bag and go put the work in. You got no, you got the best person you can ever ask for in terms of advice for longevity, putting the work in, etc. And your dad, do that. Put that work in this off season. Go get drafted, bro, and make and prove people like me and many other people wrong. The comeback is real, but it's up to Bronny James. I know this video was long, everybody, but I had to just speak from the heart, and I really had just had to talk some basketball, man. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about Bronny James. Where is he going to go? Is he going to get drafted to the NBA? How deep is he going to go? And the first round, the second round, the third round, is he just going to end up going back to college? I want to hear your thoughts. I shared my raw thoughts, unfiltered. I want to hear yours. Hope to see you all in the next video, everybody. Like if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all soon, man. Peace.